Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Matt. Welcome. Over the last few months, and especially during quarantine, I've gotten back on a pretty consistent fitness routine, at least more consistent than I've been in the last year or two. And I've been feeling really good about it. I've been getting very passionate about my health and my fitness routine. And so I've been throwing it into my vlogs here and there, showing a workout or two, and you guys have seemed to really like it. So I thought I would do a video solely dedicated to fitness. So for this video, I'm gonna show you guys a week in my life of workouts what I do every day to sweat and move my body and get a little bit stronger I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started with day one I always start my workouts with some sort of cardio. What it is depends on the day. Today it's gonna be an incline walk on the treadmill just to get warmed up. This is honestly so hard and if you do it for a while, I think it's harder than running. So to start, I'm gonna do 20 to 30 minutes on speed 3.6 on elevation level nine is what I usually do. And I'm gonna get super sweaty. Why does my voice sound like this right now? So now that I'm done with that, it's time to move on to my actual workout for the day. And since it's Monday, it's gonna be one of my harder workouts for the week. I usually like to start my week off with a bang and go really hard on Mondays because I always go lighter on the weekends. I might not even work out on the weekend. I like to go hard during the week. That's kind of how I schedule my workouts. Today is gonna be leg day. For legs, I always start with squats, so I do two sets with a lighter set of weights, and then I switch to doing two sets with the heaviest set of weights that I have. And in between each set of squats, I do these hip bridge thingies, which look really, really weird, but I promise they make your glutes burn. After that cycle, I switched to doing lunge walks and I always opt to use a lighter set of weights so that I can really dig deep and focus on the technique since I'm pretty new to this. This next thing is something that my brother actually showed me. So what you do is you take a little bungee cord and you put it around your ankles and then you sit back like you're gonna do a squat and you tap back and forth as you can see in the video. And this is such a good butt workout. And then the last thing that I do for legs is lunge jumps, similar to the walks, but you just stay in one place and alternate legs. Huh. <sighs> I'm already sore. Okay, see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday, everyone. As you can see, I'm already quite sweaty from my run in the very hot sun. I was gonna do arms today because I did legs yesterday and I never focus on the same area of my body two days in a row. But after that run, I'm already feeling really tired and really satisfied with my workout. So I think today I'm just gonna finish off with the Alexis Ren ab workout and then do a big arms day tomorrow. Yeah, I think that sounds good. That's the biggest thing that I've been focusing on recently is just listening to my body and doing what feels good because that's the key to consistency. Hi guys, it's Wednesday, day three, and I feel like every week I always hit kind of a midweek slump on Wednesdays. Sometimes it's worse than others, and today has been pretty bad. 
I wasn't feeling great this morning. I think it was something that I ate last night and I also recently switched my meds for my anxiety and stuff so that could be part of it too. Moreover the story is I haven't been feeling great but I know how much better I'll feel if I get up and move my body just a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is just pop in my AirPods, put on a podcast and go for a walk around my neighborhood. Just something to move my body, something to get outside. Maybe I'll even bring Lily, my dog, and give her a walk. Just a little something today and I know I'll get back on my grind tomorrow but it's just been quite the day. Happy Thursday everyone, it is day four of workouts and for today I have a partner with me. We always love working out together so this is perfect. Oh my gosh. Tasha Franken, Pilates. Oh yeah. Today we're gonna do a Pilates workout which I've never done before but it's from this girl named Tasha Franken who I've heard is like this unreal instructor and she started doing virtual videos and classes so we're gonna do an arms workout and an abs workout from her. And then we might do something else but I have a feeling that's gonna be enough for today so let's get started. We just finished the arms, now it's time for abs. That was so hard. I like sweating. I know. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I showed you guys my Pilates workout earlier and I was planning on just ending my day off there but I have so much energy today probably because I didn't do much yesterday and I also just drank a coffee so I'm like I'm buzzing right now. I think I'm gonna do some more arms with weights because usually I do a big arms day during the week and I haven't yet. I'm pretty new to using weights when working out since I always did body weight stuff when I did gymnastics. So when I am using weights, I always opt on the side of less weight so I can focus more on the technique. I don't know, I just like to make sure I'm doing things correctly and not hurting myself. But for my last set, I always take the heaviest weights that I have to do just like a max set of curls and push up things. Can you guys tell I'm new to this? I don't even know the terminology. So that's how I'm gonna finish my workout. <laughs> Okay, that's all for today. It's Friday, day five. I'm so sorry that thing in the background is so loud. I hope you can hear me. As you can see, I'm not in my normal workout space. I'm in the Cape for the weekend, but that doesn't mean the workouts stop. Today's gonna be a Chloe Ting day. I wanna do like a full body workout and abs or legs and abs. I don't really know. Let me browse her videos, but I definitely wanna do the classic. Chloe Ting abs workout. Oh, she does have full body workouts, so I'm gonna start with that and then finish with abs. Okay, full. 
full body's done. Now time for abs. Chloe never fails to deliver. Oh, this is the worst one. Hi guys, it's Saturday, the final day of workouts, I think, for the week. And for today, I'm back with Hallie and we're gonna do spin again outside. This was in one of my last vlogs, but in the Cape they have all these bikes set up outside, socially distanced in this parking lot. So we're gonna take a spin class, even though it's 80 degrees and it's very hot outside. Which one's my bike? That one, right next to the cone, right? Yeah. Actually, there's multiple cones. Oh, okay, a little shorty. Little baddest. shorties are the baddest. My <laughs> bike's the works. baddest. Guys, I'm not trying to manifest this, but There's I really think energy. that I'm gonna fade. Well, we all know I faint. So, like. <laughs> It's now Sunday and I will not be working out today so that I can rest up for another good week of workouts. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, disclaimer, this is not in any way me telling you this is the correct way of working out or this is how you should be working out. I just wanted to show you what works for me and what my weekly schedule looks like. As you can see from a lot of the workouts that I did this week, I like watching videos and basically being told what to do. But I know a lot of other people like using apps and some people just like figuring it out on their own so if you take anything from this video I hope it's just maybe a little bit of motivation to move your body today and sweat and feel good if you enjoyed this and you want to see more fitness videos in the future make sure to give it a thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new and I will see you all very soon with a new video bye everyone